All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Brachel to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught us this truth, and salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and byways week in and week out, supporting and teaching this ministry and shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters seeking his truth shalom yeah i just want to bring up this video here that one of our elders aram lab apostle elder apostle aram lab brought out today and this video is a a video of encouragement a video of hope right a video of something to look forward to so I just wanted to put it on my channel just in case you know someone hasn't seen it and um, and it's just uplifting all right the heading is he is coming and that's Yahweh Shai is on his way soon. Right? So, Baba Kasha, which means please watch this video, right? From our elder, right? Of Great Millstone. And it's very uplifting and encouraging. Okay? Shalom. He's come. Uh, let's start out by saying Barakat de Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Um, Yahushai is coming, he'll be here soon. Uh, you brothers can see all the signs that are happening, you know, around the earth, you know, and how they, these devils are manipulating everything that you see, you know. And um, Yahushai already told us things that would be happening, you know, um, and prophecies that would be uh, um, happening before his uh, second coming. This is our Matthew 24, 26. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. You know, so it's going to be evident when Yahweh Shai comes back. And it's evident in the scriptures. We can see it. It says, For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So it's going to be evident, you know, that, that, Yahweh, that that's Yahweh Shai coming back. Because they have many different ways they try, they're trying to manipulate this and spin it on the people. But if it were possible, they'd deceive the very elect. But they can't because the elect are the elect and the Lord has the elect eyes, the elect's eyes open. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. You know, because when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming back to gather his elect. It says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Excuse me, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the of the heavens shall be shaken, because these uh, different governments that are up, which are pretty much run by Esau, the so-called white man, they're going to be shaken, because they're not going to know what the hell to do. Same thing when you go back into the uh, 1940s, when um, there was all those chariots were, I believe, either 40s or 50s, when all those chariots were over the White House. You know, and they they set jets out there, scrambling out there to see what you know what the hell it was, and to defend against it. And the, and the chariots bounced, you know, and they didn't know what the hell it was. Well, they're gonna know when when this time comes. They're not, at first they're gonna be taken by surprise, but eventually they're gonna know what's going on, because we've been telling them. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, and this is you know like the scripture said for to those that love His appearing, you know, because you know, this is what the moment that we've been waiting for. You know, so when these things start happening, that's why Yahweh Shai said, look up, you know, and lift up your head because uh, your redemption draweth nigh. So our redemption is, is drawing nigh. It says, and then shall they appear the sign of the Son of Man in, the, in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Because even though we see movies and different things like that, you know, we don't understand the majesty and the magnitude of how 
the Lord is going to come back, even though we have a little inkling of how, how it's going to be. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So the elect are going to be gathered to be protected from this destruction and devastation that's coming. Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall be well because of him, even so, Amen. So he cometh with clouds, with chariots. The chariots are chariots for salvation, and also the curse that's going to come and destroy Esau, the so-called white man. Second Ezra 13 and 2, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And it's going to be glorious, man. Because when you go back to the time of Moses, when, when the when the Most High would come into the camp, you know, it said that the glory of the Lord was seen over them. You know, so it's going to be a spectacular thing, man. You know, far beyond what we could imagine. You know, we have an idea. You know, we have a, some brothers have a, 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 a great imagination. But compared to our imagination, the splendor that, it, that's, that it's going to be, it's going to be far beyond, you know, uh, uh, it's going to be, we're going to be in awe. Just put it to you like that. All right, it says, and when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. You know, it, but why? Because of the power and glory and majesty that he's coming with. He said he's not going to come and meet this devil as a man. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. And you see that in certain movies, how they have uh, the lasers coming out of the chariots to, to uh, burn people up. Like as the earth faileth when it faileth the fire. You know, and it is going to fail when it feels the fire. That's why the Lord is going to have to hold the, the uh, earth together so that the earth don't explode, implode, and, and just go f flying somewhere in, in the universe. Because there's going to be so much devastation and destruction on this planet that, that it, unless the Lord holds it together, it would come apart. But we know that the earth abides forever. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number. This is what Armageddon, or the valley of Jehoshaphat, <clears throat> from the four winds of heaven, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And what is the sea? Out of the elements, out of space. You know, so when Yahweh Shai comes back, they're going to try to subdue him. But I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. And that great mountain is this huge chariot that the Lord is going to come on. You know, when you watch the movie um, Independence Day, they show you like a, a big ship. Well, it's going to be far bigger than that. It's going to be way bigger than that. It's going to look like, like a mountain. Uh, 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 from from the uh, that, that's missing from the earth, one of them high top high mountains. But I would have seen the regional place where uh, the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid. And that's all these military men, you know, from all these different militaries. That's what the Lord said. My determination is to gather the nations to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. You know, so when these n nations. Uh, see how Shai coming back They're going to stop fighting against each other And fight against the Lord It says, cause, but it says that they're going to be afraid You know all they which were gathered together To subdue him were so afraid And yet there's fight Because really the Most High is going to put the spirit in them to fight Remember the Lord said he's the Lord of hosts So he's going to put the spirit in them to fight Even though they're going to be scared It says and lo as he saw the violence Of the multitude that came He neither lifted up his hand nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. Because Yahweh Shai is not going to have to lift a finger. He's not going to break a sweat in busting these devil's ass and these other nations' ass. He says, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. And that blast of fire is what? The, the nuclear, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, um, the, uh, um, the rays that are going to come out of the chariots. Um. Habakkuk 3.3, 3, the Most High came from Teman, the Holy One, or the power came from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Salah, his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise, you know, greatness. And his brightness was as the, as the light. And he had horns coming out of his hands and there was, there was, and there was the hiding of his power. That horn was what? The, the uh, uh, ray, you know, that, that came out of the, that concentrated fire. The same thing he wrote the law with. So going back here, it says, uh, 2 Ezra 13, 10, But only I saw that he had sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath. That's the lasers. And out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, 
and the great tempest. So it's going to be concentrated heat and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. Why? Because this place was set up in by violence and it's going to go out by violence. Revelation 18, 20. Rejoice over thou, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. So back in 2nd Ezra 13, 11, And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude of uh, that uh, Armageddon, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. So pretty much the Lord Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, he's coming to destroy this place. That's why the name of this lesson is, he's coming. You know, he's on his way. You know, he's he's at the door, like the scriptures say. You know, there, it's like like almost like he's seconds away in, in, uh, um, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in, the, in the heavens times, you know, he's like seconds away from coming here, you know, to destroy this devil and to deliver his elect, you know, so brothers, you know, stay strong, keep on fighting, keep on watching what's going on, you know, these devils are trying their underhanded shit, but that's good because the Lord said they're going to be taken in the same trap that they tried to uh, put on us, you know, so with that, I hope your brothers have been edified to the next time I say Shalom. There you go. There you hear. There you hear from our elder, one of our elders, okay, from Great Millstone, and um, it is so encouraging, okay. So we just have to keep the faith, keep on pushing, keep in tr keep on trusting in our power, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us out of this evil kingdom right Yahweh Rataza so with that I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone Shalom